Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Elite set for you guys and it is the 2023 WWE Top Picks Elite Series. Now I don't know about you guys but I swear to God it seems like we have like a 2022 or a 2023 release and then we get like just top pick after top pick after top pick. This is what our third top pick series just this year alone? Or it may be our second but I could have swore it was our third or maybe the other one was at the tail end of 2022 just they kind of all mesh together and run. Maybe there's two, one at the beginning of the year one towards the end of the year is how it works but no because no this is the third one because we had the jeff hardy goldberg roman reigns set you had the rock undertaker Rey mysterio set and now you have this set so three top pick series and we're only halfway through 2022 it's kind of insanity but i'm looking forward to it because these figures look amazing i'm very excited for this wave we're going to dive into all the details as you guys can see we have john cena Rey mysterio randy orton and drew mcintyre now to be honest with you i just got to get this out of the way right now first of all if you guys would like to grab this set it is available at ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent. you can go get the whole wave right now it is shipping right now you can go grab it it will ship out to you but this figure right here this drew mcintyre right here it's the exact same as his last elite i honestly don't even feel like getting into it because it is it is the exact same look at this right here this is the elite 89 drew this it, it does look cool mocking package I'll, I'll give him that but this drew mcintyre is probably going to warm shells i hate to say it it's a beautiful looking figure it looks amazing but it's the exact same figure double jointed arms same head sculpt same accessory, same attire. It's the same. So I don't even really feel like looking at him, to be honest with you, all right? I'm just gonna set him off to the side, and we will dive into him at some other date or do some surgery or something with him. Let's dive into the other three in the set. We have John Cena, which is a beautiful, you can say re-release, but it is a total updated version of the Elite 3 John Cena, which we're, of course, gonna do the comparison in this video. But you guys can see here he is saluting in the package, which I think looks great. I think this is a beautiful mock figure, you know? I think this is a beautiful mock figure. Unfortunately, I do have to open it if I see one of these on shelves, I'm probably going to get a mint one because it looks very sick. I think it's because the packaging ties into the attire so nice with the red, blue, and black. But you got Cena here, Cena on the side, Cena on the back there. You got a little bio read, the rest of the figures in the wave. This figure is one of everybody's favorites. You have like the Batman style Rey Mysterio right here, which is really nice. Great colors on this guy. Can't wait to crack him out. You got him over there. He looks really nice in box as well. Got another image of him on the back there. And last but not least, we do have one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. We have Randy Orton. So two of my favorites of all time. Probably my top two favorites ever with John Cena and Randy Orton. You got Randy here, Randy here, looking beautiful on the side. He's there. And then you have a beautiful shot of him on the back of the packaging there. But how we're going to do it, man, we're going to crack all three of these guys out of the packaging, see what they're all about. How good are they? Are they going to shelf warm? Are they going to be a really nice top pick set? We're going to find the hell out here today, man. Kind of unbelievable, man. It's starting out with the first top pick series ever with Braun Strowman and all those guys to fast forward to now. I think the figures have gotten significantly better and it just makes me happy. But let's shut the hell up and crack these guys out of their packaging. So here's the new top pick set out of their packaging and spinning round and round in front of you. You have Rey Mysterio, John Cena, and Randy Orton. I love all three of these, man. I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. We're, of course, going to get into all the details. What we're going to do for this one, guys, is we're going to split it up into three separate sections. So we're going to cover every figure down to their accessories and the figure itself in one segment, one after the other, and as well as covering their comparison. So what we're going to do, guys, is start off with one guy, go to the next guy, go to the next guy, and take us all the way through the set, except for Drew McIntyre, of course. With all those things being said, man, let's get them off the stand into my hands and find out what these guys are all about. So starting off first with Rey Mysterio, man, getting into his accessories, it's the same thing we've seen with Rey Mysterio over and over, time and time again. Interchangeable hands and the same Ryback style sleeveless shirt right here. You guys can see. I think this is a new shirt. I don't think we've seen this specific graphic on a shirt before. It's got the mask. It's in the lime green. It's got the pink. Nice colors going on, but it's pretty plain Jane. We've seen this mold so many times. I mean, it's been like 70 series straight of us seeing this, you know, since like Elite 21, maybe even before that. We've seen this style shirt before. It goes over the figure. You guys know how those work. And then for his interchangeable hands, we do have the Reach Out Friday Night Smackdown Rey Mysterio style hands right here in the black. Would have liked to seen blue or some blue accents at least. I know he was wearing what, like Under Armour gloves or something like that. It would have been cool to see just the blue details or even just some of this line work have some blue in it. Just to change it up because we've seen these black gloves so many times before, but we did not get that. But outside of that, you also get his fisted hands. So we've seen these multiple times before, but that 
that pretty much wraps up Rey's accessories. So getting into Rey Mysterio, starting out with the head sculpt, this is the head sculpt I've been begging them to use. It's very similar to the WrestleMania 35 2-pack with Samoa Joe. I don't think it's quite that one. I think that one has it like strapped. This one actually has it unstrapped as you guys can see, but mine actually has a little bit of bleeding on the eyes right there, and it's because I think they molded it in blue, and then they painted the skin tone and the eyes on there, but it's not too bad. You do get some nice little stubbling going on. I love the colors. They pop off really nice. This gray on the shirt is actually a lot darker than it's coming across. It's a lot more accurate to the actual thing, but it kind of gives a more classic Batman here in the review, like the brightness and stuff like that, but the logos look clean. I love the armbands here with the silver, blue, and yellow. I think that's really clean as well. Double jointed arms, which looks incredible. This is the same mold we've seen over and over. It's not the same mold as the WrestleMania 35. I don't know why they didn't use that torso. Really doesn't make sense to me. I'll show you guys in a comparison segment, but you do have the, I, I just love the colors. Being a, a Batman fan and being like a classic Batman fan, not like Adam West Batman, but being an animated series Batman, that's my Batman, but it's still pretty similar. Like you could still see the similarities there. I love all the colors. Again, going down, you have the nice stripes and stuff. It's a recolor or a repaint. They just painted over the torso. I love the boots, how you have the greatest mask of all time in the, in the gray color. I love just all the colors, man. All the colors look really, really sweet. One thing about this, though, it's missing a stripe down the side in black, and it's also missing some wash kind of look over the top of it. It's supposed to have a, it's supposed to have some like texturing or like kind of, I don't even know what to even call it. It's like a, like a spray paint looking texture over the shirt, but they didn't include that, which isn't the biggest deal, but at the same time it is missing. Now here is the new Top Picks Ray, and here it is up next to our most recent two Top Picks Rays. And again, this one's literally on the shelves right now. And this is my favorite Ray Mysterio they've ever made. It's so nice, but this one's damn good too. I love this head sculpt. I'd love to see this head on multiple Rays. I think this is the better head. It is a little bit over size probably, but at the same time, I love all the colors. I still think the pink one's undefeated. Comparing it to that WrestleMania 35 two-pack Ray, so many damn Rey Mysterios, bro. I swear to goodness. Here is the WrestleMania two-pack one, and this is what I was talking about on the torso. You see what I'm talking about right here? They have texturing, and this is this is the way they should have done it. I don't know why they didn't give us this torso with the nice sculpture on there. Like, this has that tight shirt feeling here. This has nothing. And you guys can see the differences between the torsos. This one is a lot better and a lot more accurate to the actual shirt, but they gave us this torso just repainted, so I think it would have been a lot cooler to see the WrestleMania 35 two-pack with the shirt on there, but you know, it is what it is. Not that big of a deal, but I did want to, you know, put that out there and you guys could say it, but look at that right there, dude. Look how toyetic Rey Mysterio is. I mean, look at all those figures, dude. Look at the colors. Look how amazing. No wonder they pumped this guy out every other set. So for Randy Orton's accessories, just like Rey Mysterio, man, same kind of deal, right? The same rubber hoodie that we have seen multiple times before. On the back of the packaging, he's actually wearing a different different hoodie than the one that they gave him here. However, it's the same rubber hoodie that we've seen with Randy Orton multiple times. You have the RKO graphic here. You know, it's kind of like your tattered style graphic. It's kind of weird because the tassel goes right through there and they printed the RKO over it. So that's not how that would be. You need to put a black line right there for the tassel, but you spin it around, same graphic on the back, same sculpt we've seen a hundred times since what? I think Elite 67, maybe even before that. Same exact hoodie. We've seen that, you know, hoods on there, stuff like that. You got the pockets. Outside of that, you do have his interchangeable hands, which are his entrance hands with black tape, which are cool to see every single time. And then you have your mic holding hands. So you get two pairs of interchangeable hands. I think I'd rather have that in a black colorway so that it didn't, you know, you didn't break up the black tape there. But at the same time, what's it matter? We've seen these hands a million times. Now getting into the Randy Orton Elite figure, I like this head sculpt a lot. It actually is the Elite 90. Just repainted. They did remove like some details in the facial hair. They shaved him up there. Got the clean shaven look on there. I don't hate this head sculpt. I think it does work. Has kind of a cartoony look, but at the same time, I think it works out nice. I love this torso they used for Orton ever since they added the double joint arms. I wish the double joint arms were a little bit bigger. I feel like he could get away with bigger arms. Randy's arms are pretty damn big. I feel like they could use Cena arms, to be honest with you. Here's Cena's arms. I feel like they could get away with that, man. I don't think that would be, you know, that's. I don't think it's ridiculous to say that. But I love that they continue to put the tattoos on the torso. I think it looks fantastic. We have seen trunks like this, very similar style, but it's the black with the yellow and the silver details. It's almost like a bright gray or a light gray. It's coming across white on camera. I do get a little bit of paint chip there, but he's got the black wrist tape, big muscle man thighs. One thing that bothers me about this attire, though, is that the the knee pads are clearly orange, bro. In person, you can see the difference, and I think I'm going to switch these knee pads out with some plain black knee pads because they clash, man. That is clearly yellow, and that is clearly orange, and even if it's accurate, it's very weird, and it bothers me. I don't know what I'll do here. I'll, I'll play around with it. I'll see, but he also has his black boots, as you guys know, but I think I like this figure a lot. I just think that bothers me. The way those colors clash
flash like that have orange have yellow i think i'll switch it out and then maybe get another one to have you know regular if it is accurate if this is supposed to be a yellow color or these are supposed to be more orange that's one thing but if it is accurate that way and the way he wore it i will have to get another one but i think i would like to see what it looks like with plain black knee pads so for your randy orton figure comparisons here is the elite 90 up next to the new top picks you guys can see the inspiration here it's just a repaint of this figure i do have my custom hoodie on here that looks so good and this is actually the hoodie that he's wearing on the back of the packaging over here except it does have black tassels instead of the white but i think this figure will look good with this hoodie on there we'll see what that looks like at the end of the video but these are the exact same as you guys can see here no huge differences just some slight repaints i'm still on team elite 90 over here i think it's the best orton possibly ever made we'll see when we see the SummerSlam elite at a later date but there's your randy orton figure comparisons so for john cena's accessories just like his typical elites but it's a lot better man it's a lot more upgraded we haven't seen a full t-shirt armbands interchangeable hands necklace in a little bit now and it looks great i'm very intrigued by this wrestlemania 25 gear looks insane this is actually his new hat mold that we've seen on the ultimate editions it's got the nice graphic on there that looks clean nice details and stitching going on paint apps look good i think they did a really good job on this it fits the figure well so i'm all on board on that that looks really nice outside of that we do have a re-release of the shirt again this is a re-release of the elite 3 cena but this looks so much better man i don't think i have my original elite 3 shirt i do have like a thread heads custom shirt on there i do believe from a long time ago when i updated my cenas but this is so much better than the one that mattel gave us on the elite 3 it was a lot more tattered as a as i have a string loose right here but it was so tattered man the shirt didn't fit the figure well this fits the figure much better it looks a lot more professional it is so much better the clean old school logo it is just so nice it does have velcro on the back which kind of sucks but at the same time maybe one day we'll fully get rid of it but the shirt is so nice i'll never complain about a cloth shirt we of course have to have his signature dog tags we've seen a hundred times he comes with mic holding hands and he comes with you can't see me hands even though he can't really do it because he doesn't have butter butterfly joints so it's really hard to do the you can't see me but you guys get the deal but that wraps up john cena's accessories so getting into john cena man i like this head sculpt a lot it is the basic 100 we've seen it quite a few times now you know nothing over the top or miraculous but it is a good head sculpt you know my eye is actually missing a little bit of paint but i like the haircut i like the likeness it looks just like cena we've seen this torso this is actually the exact torso they used all that time ago on the elite three way back 12 years ago so it took 12 years 12 to get this updated cena with updated technology so i i don't know what that really means but i do love that they gave him the double jointed arms of course this is the same elite three figure in the torso the crotch the legs the ankles and the lower legs like this is all the same mold i'll go off about that in just a moment this is something i really love they finally have been giving him sculpted on armbands that are removable not only those but the sweatbands down here you got the hlrs on there this is very sweet i love this this is fantastic i'm gonna have to do this to all my cenas eventually you guys know with the cena collection gonna have to update all those armbands and make them this way probably should have done that from the beginning but this you know really adds it over the top he's got the same light colored jeans here this leg mold has got to go man it's so stiff i've always hated these legs i, I just can't stand it and i cannot stand i do like that they gave him some shoe details here to try and match those under armor style shoes that he had but at the same time this ankle mold is 12 years old and it's got to go man it's just it has to get they gotta retool some ankles they gotta redo the shoe mold redo the crotch the legs and the feet please jesus now like it's one thing to have you know the ultimate edition the ultimate edition is better but it's still just so loose man this is not bad i guess but still the articulation is really stiff and the waist is a little bit loose but you know i do love john cena he's my goat i just want his figures to be immaculate and they have done this so long now it's, i think i just think it's time for something new man you know it's, it's time for something new maybe elite 100 will blow us away or something with a new john cena with updated technology and i'm just praying and hoping so man because i i am i've been waiting on a new ankle mold and foot mold for this guy for a long time but let's see what the elite three looks like compared to this new top picks all right guys so here is the illustrious elite three up next to the brand new top picks very similar but a lot of great updates again my shirt is custom on my elite three because my elite three original shirt got damaged it may be in my crowd somewhere it probably is it's, it's beat to all hell so i was like screw it i'll put an original i'll put a custom t-shirt on there and it'll fit but it's pretty crazy to see the differences in these two just between the head sculpts and the different sculpts double jointed arms the the painted on armbands versus the sculpted these are the same damn legs though bro look at those legs look at that foot mold it's basically the exact same i know that this is a little bit different this is you know they had the lower ankle kind of sculpt 
sculpt it on there. After this, they did switch to it just like this. And we've seen a lot of Cena's with that exact mold, but there they are up next to each other. Really cool to see, man. Really, you know, it's so crazy to just see the difference between the two. The more things change, the more they stay the same. And so you, you got a cool little peek from, you know, 12 years difference between these two figures. And it's kind of cool just to see that play out here today in the review. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up the brand new Top Picks Wave. I don't know if this is 2023, 2024. I don't know what they're naming this because I feel like the years change every single time. So I guess it'd technically be 2024, but it is 2023. And I like these figures a lot. I think that if you missed out on the Elite 90 Orton, this is a really good one. I still think you could probably grab it at retail though. So I, I wouldn't like, you know, miss out on that. I think the Elite 90 is superior. This Cena, if you miss out on the Elite 3, you've never owned the Elite 3, man, you got to go get this. This is so nice. It's a great Cena. It's the probably one of the better Elite Cenas they've ever done, honestly. And then this Rey Mysterio is beautiful. I know how much it's the same as others, but the colors are so nice. It's going to be one of the best Rays ever, or at least to this date. It is one of the best Rays ever for sure, man. But if you guys want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Go grab these figures. Go grab the set. Check them out. And don't forget about little Drew McIntyre over here. He's also a part of the set. If you guys missed out on the Elite, uh, the Elite 89, but he didn't make the review today. I'm sorry, Brad. We had to cover other figures, all right? Change yourself. You didn't change nothing. Anyways, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Follow me and uh, don't end up like Drew McIntyre. You cross the line.